You know, my friends, sometimes in trading, it is easier to just take what the market gives you and walk away, <laughs> wad the money up in your pocket while it's there, and live to fight another day. Final recap. Coming up. Let's go. So it's true. Last night I got my head caved in. We will recap those trades here in just a minute. I am already logged into the Take Profit account, so we will go uh, recap it first. Um, I just needed like twelve, thirteen hundred dollars to finish that account. Um, these trades right here, these scalps, uh, long, 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 <laughs> long, 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 and that was it. So probably six trades and that finishes that account off 159 is the the target and we are at 159.25 so that account is now funded uh again this is only day three and you have to trade it for five days so it actually won't be live I guess until Monday, actually, because Thursday is going to be a holiday. So I guess it'll be Monday will be the actual first day of, of a live functioning take profit account. Kind of excited. I've never had one before. Um, the, I think the, the trailing drawdown now is $4,500. So I will have to trade this just like I have traded the Apex accounts that I've traded for the past year. Uh, trailing drawdown, in my opinion, sucks, but it's it's defeatable once you um, really set your mind into, as soon as you are in profit, taking it off the board. Uh, or that's the way I approach it anyway. Um, and we'll see. So that one is done. It's funded. Got to go in and out for, uh, what, two more days, three more days? Actually, let's do the math here. Today is Monday. Today is day three. Tuesday will be day four. Um, Wednesday is a half a day, right? And then Friday is a full day, I think. So maybe, yeah. So it'll be Monday. Monday will be the first day. Okay, and now moving on to the top step accounts. So, moving on to the top step accounts. Last night, I came out on fire. On fire. Couldn't miss for the first one, two, three, four, five trades in a row. Five. And I should have stopped. I was up close to six, seven hundred dollars across all five accounts last night. And then I decided I could do one more trade. Just one. Just one, just one more trade. Ah, oh, and it got me. So this pattern right here, uh, as it comes breaking down and crashing down with some speed, in the New York session, there is a large probability that it is just going to blow right through here and keep on going, right? Maybe not 30, 20 points, but a good, you know, 5, 10 points after it cracks through the bottom. Well, I chased it. I chased it. I got short right at the bottom of the freaking candle and right back up in my face it went. So, again, I was plus 700 or so dollars, 600, 700 dollars across all five accounts <laughs> at this point right here. And... uh I finally capitulated and let it go. Uh, I gave back $1,400 in this move right here back up. You know, and in, and in hindsight, looking at it, right in here, cracking this neckline should have been the get out. And definitely cracking this neckline is should have been the get out. And I guess 67 71, what is that, four more points? So really four more points than it really could have been, but a lot more than it should have been. Shouldn't have taken that trade. That was a bad trade, all right? So now I'm 
angry. I am upset. I'm mad. So I turn around, I get long, and then it, it rolls back off. So I'm like $300 in profit up here at the top of this candle. And I'm like, no, I want it all back. I'm taking it off until I get it all back. And it rolls back off. I'm like, oh my God, it's going to go all the way back down there. And then that's really going to put me in a bind, right? So I cut the loss right here. I get out. That's basically a break-even trade. Maybe maybe a $40, $50 loss right here. It pops back up. I get long. I get long from 74 to 87 And I think that put me back within like... 200 bucks or so of being down on the night. Like 250, I think, is where I stopped trading it at. So negative 250 on my Sunday night, which there's no reason for that. If I'm up five, six, seven hundred dollars on these first series of trades, there's no need to keep pushing the envelope, right? I'm only trading with three contracts too and at night. Uh, had that been five contracts, I would have been over a thousand bucks, and then I would have I would have been done. I would have been finished. There would have been no need to take this extra trade. There wasn't a need anyway. But anyway, so there you go. So negative negative two hundred on my night coming into today. I turn into a scalp freaking fanatic. <laughs> um. Let's see here. This one I get short. I get my face ripped off. So now I'm back down to negative 800. This is right after the market opened. Went short thinking we were going to come down here. I let it go for an $800 loss. It goes another eight points up and then rolls right back over, right? Um, sorry, I'm trying to do this from, from uh, recall all this from memory here. Those are shorts. That's a short. This is the one that, that was bad. This is a long, all right? So we sold off all this way down and we start to pop back up. I'm like, oh, okay, here's the reversal. <laughs> here's the reversal. I get in long and it takes another dump down. So at the bottom of these candles down here, now, now that hurts. So now I am down... 2,058, 2,150, something like that at the bottom of these candles down here. That was a horrible, it was a horrible hold and a horrible decision to get in right here. And the reason why I held on to it is I was already down so freaking much um, just from a series of mistakes. But the market bails me out, bails me out, rolls back over a take it off for profit. Uh, these scalps I take off for profit. And somewhere in here, I'm actually back to even now. These are all uh, scalps. This is a long scalp and then scale out scalps, right? Uh, all the way over to here, my last one being right here and that brings our magic number to uh, right around a thousand bucks. Um, thousand nine hundred, a thousand eight nineties, uh, forty eight oh four on the day. I got really lucky to not um hit the the max daily loss limit on that one. <laughs> Where is it? On this trade right here, this right here, and then down. That hurt. That hurt. I was very frustrated right here. Uh, but it worked out. So it is what it is. I, I really wanted to um, get those other those other two accounts that crossed $1,000. I'm not going back in there to risk it now. I am wadding up my money, putting it in my pocket, and we will come back tonight. We will come back tonight, and we will hit our series of trades, and then we will stop trading. No more chasing no more chasing of freaking breakdowns. Oh, that was bad. That was terrible. But um, there it is. So take profit. We'll be live on Monday. And I got a good foothold uh, on these funded accounts. And I was able to crack off, what is it, 765 in those other set of um, 150K combines. So on all in all, a pretty productive Monday.
I'll take it. I like it. Um, anyway, that's all I got. As always, I appreciate y'all tuning in, and I will catch you next time. Take care.